In this tutorial, I'll tell you how to utilize the choice fields. So let's say we have a field over here as membership. Okay. And it takes models dot care field. And we want to restrict this particular uh, data which can be stored over here to some value. So we basically want to limit it. So I'll write max length equals to one okay now how we will limit this value so for that you go to the documentation if you go to documentation of uh, this field option we have a couple of options over here one of these options are choices okay so you come to choices you see choices is nothing but a sequence consisting itself of iterables of exactly two items basically what it means to say it consists of a an array of tuples okay the first value of this tuple represents the value which we are going to store in our database and the second value second character over here it represents the human readable name all right so over here let's say we have a membership membership like gold uh, silver and bronze so for g for gold i'll write over here so i'll write g equals to i'll write bronze so b for bronze and then we have s for silver and g for we have gold okay now these three things we want to include so if you see over here here we will write g b and g gold silver and this one or bronze so similarly i'll include another attribute called membership choices so i'll write i'll include it in caps letter because i don't want anybody to play around with this so basically i want to say that i'll write membership membership let's go choices equals to an array okay an array and this will have a tuple so for i told you that for bronze we will write b okay and this will have a value bronze okay and similarly i will repeat this tuple so i'll write silver and over here i'll write gold and this will be silver and this will be gold okay this will be bronze all right these are the membership choices now here what i'll do i'll include the choices equals to membership choices this one okay now we can also set the default value also so i'll say default default equals to i'll put branch now if you see over here so this default value i have put i have included this membership choices and it will take default value bronze it will work like that but there is a problem over here if you want to change something someday if you want to change this value then we will have to change it over here and then over here also so instead of doing that what i'll do i'll define a this bronze value separately so i'll simply write i'll write membership membership bronze equals to value i'll give b okay and then the same thing i will implement over here so i'll write membership branch okay equals to branch all right and here i'll put default value as membership branch okay so i have included this membership branch equals to b and i am referencing it to all the values now instead of doing this for only branch it is a best practice to do it and to 
refer this silver and gold also separately so what i'll do i'll simply repeat this and i'll write silver and this one as gold okay and this will be g and this will be s okay similarly these will be changing over here so i'll write membership bronze sorry instead of bronze it will be silver and over here also i'll write membership gold okay now this is the best practice to do over here now it is okay so you have seen over here that we had defined this silver gold and bronze separately and then we included this in a choices okay so we are referencing this inside our tuple now similarly i want you to create an order class okay and inside that class you put two fields named placed at and payment status with placed at you put date time and uh, you use an auto populated uh, kind of thing wherein when uh, when somebody places an order django automatically takes the order of date and time of that particular time all right and then you put payment status as p for pending c for complete and f for failed okay so i'll wait for your uh, comments and i'll see and then come back to me and i'll tell you the solutions how to do it all right guys so here i had told you to make a class called order so i'll write class order okay and i'll inherit it from models dot model okay now it should have two attributes first is your placed at and second is your payment status so i'll make placed at equals to models dot it should have date time okay date time field and Django should automatically include it at the placement time. That means whenever somebody places an order, Django should automatically take that time and place of that particular time. So I'll write over here as auto now auto now add equals to true. Okay. Now second thing is that payment status. Okay. So payment status equals to models models dot payment status should have a care field similar to the above one which we had made it over here okay and max length I would say equals to one then it will have choices choices equals to payment choices which uh, which we will write it later on not now okay so as of now this we will keep it like this now the payment should be either it should be a pending it or it should be completed or it should have a failed status so here we are having three status over here so we will use the choices just like over here where we made it Similar to that fashion, we'll make it over here also. So I'll write first. I'll define. I'll keep it in caps. So payment status. Okay. Pending. Payment status pending equals to let's write it p okay similarly payment status completed complete equals to you write c okay and payment status failed equals to you write c sorry f All right i'll write f okay now i will have a choices so i'll write payment status choices equals to 
an array okay and inside this array we will use a tuple just like above one wherein we will write payment status pending pending okay then we'll replicate this complete okay and here also we will write complete then here we will write failed okay and here also we will write failed okay now payment status choices is completed this one we have defined similar thing we will define it over here also so instead of over here choices we'll write choices equals to payment status choices okay and we can set the default value also so if you want to set the default value as spending so i'll write default default equals to payment status pending okay so this one is also now completed okay so placed at we have models or date time field django will automatically take the date and time of that uh, of that instance then payment status we have defined that model dot models dot care field wherein max length is one choices we have already included and we have given over here all right so this was all about the choices guys so next class we will see about the relationship how we can establish the relationship from one to many and subsequently from one to many many to many and uh, we will see it in our next class till the time you take care